Welcome back YouTube. We are on week number two, so we are 15 weeks out from our debut on stage again, um, prep series part two here, chapter two. And we're gonna take you through today, just we're gonna talk a little bit about like mental health, why it's important, um, what to expect when you're competing, stuff like that. Just go in depth a little bit more, but I'm gonna show you guys my physique right now while we're in to week two and then I'll show you guys a little bit of my gluten hamstring day and then we'll talk a little bit more about that so let's get into it. Okay, so this is my current gluten hamstring day. We're starting with some abductors and then we're going into some stiff leg RDLs. The goal when it comes to training guys is always your intensity needs to be there. You need to have good form and slow down your movements. The slower that the movement is, the more contraction you're gonna get in that muscle and you're gonna feel it a lot more, which helps with building that muscle mass and building that growth that you want within the group of muscles that you're trying to work. So definitely going through this routine, I slow down a lot, as you can tell. I make sure I'm feeling that muscle mind connection when I'm getting through all of my different exercises and I'm really pushing the weight and pushing myself. And you could see in this next video, like I'm my face just says it all. If I, I wish I didn't show it on my face as much, but this is my gluten hamstring workout and then I'm gonna transition to talking to you guys in the car. All right, so you guys just saw me go through my gluten hamstrings day and I'm, I can't feel my legs. Um, we ended with 25 minutes of cardio incline to um, eight with a speed at no lower than three. Um, it gets you out of breath, let me tell you. But um, we're going to talk a little bit about mental health when you're going through a prep and how to kind of like avoid burnout or make sure that you're getting through prep while enjoying it. Um, because you hear a lot of the times that people struggle with getting through prep because it's like traumatic on them, which is totally understandable if you aren't prepared for what's coming. First things first, when it comes to prep, you need to make sure that you're financially stable. Um, I'm nowhere near like 100% financially stable, but I'm able to afford prep and coaches and food and the show and my suit and things like that. I plan ahead, save money ahead of time to be able to just afford those things um, and a lot of people don't realize how much money you're really dropping on a prep until you start um, even in the off season it's super expensive so making sure your financials are intact is one of the things that you need to focus on when you're wanting to start prep another thing is making sure you have a good coach that overall understands you um, I feel like a lot of times there's people that just get coaches because they heard oh he or she is a bodybuilding coach let me just hire them you need to make sure it goes with what you're wanting so for example for me when it comes to my coach I wanted somebody who was very blunt and very strict very to the point because I know that pushes me since I played sports my whole life I like just direction and being told what to do and I will do it so finding somebody very blunt is what I enjoy um, and what gets me through my preps but if you can't handle that and you're a little softer to be honest um, there's other coaches that will work with that just depends on what you're wanting out of your coach and what you're expecting to give for them to give you when you're going through prep. Another thing you need to look out for when you're starting a prep is your stressors, right? So try to cut out all the stresses you can or things that are overwhelming you in your life when you're going through your prep. You don't want to go through prep and then also have a bunch of stressors on top of it. Yes, some of the stress that you have you cannot control, um, like financials and stability and things like that, but little things like certain people in your life or certain environments you're around, like cut out the things that make you feel overwhelmed because when you cut out those stressors, prep just goes by and flies by a lot smoother because um, you're not stressing about those little things that you would be if they were still around. Right, so the next thing is making sure you are somewhat, I'm going to say somewhat mentally stable, right? So when you're going through prep toward the, if you've never done it before, honestly, it can be very overwhelming and very mentally draining on you. I remember my first show 
I was definitely stressed out and very overwhelmed um, just because there's a lot going on. Like you have cardio in the mornings, fasted, you have it after your workouts, you're eating less calories, you're still working a shit ton of hours. Like there, you have to manage everything properly. Um, and I remember feeling super mentally drained toward the end of it. Not that you're never going to be mentally drained because still like when I'm, I think about eight eight and a half weeks out I start to feel more mentally exhausted but it's a different kind where I know I can push through it I'm just tired not um, feeling burnt out so there's a difference obviously between feeling burnt out and just mentally drained so knowing that you can be independent through this process is super important I think on your mental game and knowing that you can go get things done without somebody helping you yes you need that little push and support sometimes but you have to literally willing to be able to do certain things on your own I'm not gonna always have somebody to do fasted cardio with I have to go do that by myself I'm not gonna have somebody holding my hand doing meal prep I'm gonna have to do that on my own like there's a lot of factors that you have to be okay with independently doing and the support will be there but it's not you can't rely on that all the time so just making sure you're checking your mental health making sure you're growing as an individual during this process is so important and I tell people all the time that bodybuilding when you go through a prep changes you so much and I will forever be so passionate about fitness because of my bodybuilding experience and how much it pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and really push myself to be the best I can be in a short amount of time no breaks all gas never stopping and just believing that I can do it and I did it so once you get into bodybuilding you'll you'll start to see it's more than just like the physical that changes you it's your mentality changes the way you look at things change like there's just so much um, love I have for this sport but it can turn bad for people within this sport if you don't prepare yourself and people don't talk about it enough um, because they see the glamorous like aesthetic of somebody or they see wow they they look like this like I just want to be like this like that's not what bodybuilding is about bodybuilding is literally building your body to the best physique you can get and by doing that what you need to do is trust the process trust your coach know that you have all your priorities in check knowing that you will give your 16 weeks or 20 weeks of prep you are all 100% at all times and when you step on that stage knowing you gave it your best package and showing the world that this is the best you can be at this moment just is a whole different feeling so those are a couple things you definitely need to be aware of when you're wanting to start a prep and what to look out for right now my meals just changed um, I did my check-ins this morning like I showed you guys we are currently 15 weeks out now. I can't believe it's already been a week. Um, prep flies by when you're busy. That's something else that I wanna say is when you're in prep, I really messed up my first show by not staying occupied and busy with other things in my life and just making my whole life about prep. And I'm making sure these last two or three shows that I did compete in, um, that I was doing other things, working a lot investing in myself doing what I can to grow my business stuff like that I do just to stay occupied and to enjoy different hobbies than just bodybuilding um, because yes it's great that your whole life revolves around that because it has to but you have to find other hobbies to help you enjoy it a little bit more if that makes sense that's just my opinion um, everyone's different but definitely finding different things to push you outside of bodybuilding while you're in prep is going to be great picking your environments that you want to be in is super important as well because not everybody wants to be in the environment of partying and drinking and especially when you're in prep probably not a good idea um so just surrounding yourself with the right people i think guys is so important back to what i was saying my meals have changed my rest days are literally no carbs now so this is where we're about to get shreddy and you guys are going to see my abs come out <laughs> which is exciting um i still held on to them i think in my off season by like little two pack right there but um so my meals changed well this is chapter two of the youtube series we are gonna go get that done it is super bowl sunday for when i'm filming this so all my online clients i moved mostly till tomorrow to talk to because again these kind of things i want them to enjoy and enjoy life because life isn't all about fitness um life is about memories and enjoying it with your family and friends and that's super important too so 
We're gonna go get that done. I've been doing this since I was even in my off season, so it's not like I'm changing much, but I hope those tips were helpful when it comes to wanting to do a bodybuilding show, and I hope that you are prepared, and if you have questions, drop them down below so I can help you guys or answer anything you can. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you guys can see all the videos I will be dropping week to week here. And next week, I think I'm going to take you guys through like an Able haul as well with my brand I work with. I work with Able. I love them to death. They have treated me so well. Um, so that's the company I work with. If you guys are interested, support code SOS. I'm going to put it right here. Um, but I'll go through a little able haul of what I have and what I recommend for my next YouTube video on top of like my check-ins. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and take care and I'll see you guys soon.